Three. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Light Talk. We are your hosts. My name uh, is Min Stefan. Singh. My name is Min. My name is Harry. My name is Patrick. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back. Wait, does Min sing before we introduce ourselves? He sings before. Oh, oh, I there they go. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Take it away, Min. No, it's over now. The, the vibe is gone. <laughs> the vibe is gone now. <laughs> okay. Well, Harry sang a little bit. There you go. There you go. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Welcome back to another episode of Light I said Talk. That. Well, I just want to reiterate. Okay. Welcome back to Bitch. another episode of Light Talk, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. oh, my turn. Welcome back. Wait, what do you guys say? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're cut. Too light talk. You're cut. We hope you guys have we a are your great host. week. I know it looks like well, we haven't um, changed our clothes <laughs> I know. in a week. Because we haven't. Because we haven't, yeah. We teleported. <laughs> time traveled. Oh, we teleported? Teleported. Ta- tra- time traveled. Got time traveled. <laughs> you cool. know what I want to do? Time travel. <laughs> but how is your guys' week going? All of us? No. It's good. Same yeah. as last week. Same last week? Yeah. It's we didn't even say good. what we did last week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but 20s. we hope you guys had a great week as well. Yeah, I could care less. <laughs> 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 Somebody cut him. <laughs> All right, but for today, it's not going to be like an interview or solo interview. We yes. have a topic. Give or take a topic. <laughs> and mind. we have give or take some questions. <laughs> We're going to wing this is what he means. It was just based on something that someone asked yeah. To, yeah. that we talked about like a while ago. I'm sure this guy forgot about it though. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> but if I you know, know, you know. If you know, I you know. Forget. This will be a short one, to be honest, because we don't have much. Actually, Harry did remember, but we just told him no. Yeah. So but, this episode. No, we, didn't say, we didn't say no. Oh, we just, we just pushed it out. Oh, we just yeah. had other topics. Yeah, okay. And yeah, then yeah. this week, we had no topics. So I brought it up. But just, you know, fair warning, this will be a short yep. one. So. Yeah. Yeah, our topic maybe, today. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Our topic today is how we handled underclassmen as upperclassmen, and how we w- and how we were and how we were. We'll do a little throwback to what yeah. we were on the classmen and, and what we did. What we did. Okay, yes. let's get what, rolling. What should we start with? The first? stones rolling, like a rolling bowling ball, like a basketball ball. When you sometimes we're doing this. Yo, my, <laughs> mute his <is> mic. <laughs> Anyways, so what should we start with? Like us as underclassmen or us as upperclassmen? Let's do us as upperclassmen. Us as upperclassmen. No, I didn't know that. That makes more <laughs> sense, right? Oh, no, we were. Like, wait, are we gonna talk about ourselves and then roast the underclassmen, or are we gonna roast them and then? Let's talk about how we dealt with our underclassmen first. See what kind of characteristics we saw, and then apply it. To okay. Us. Okay. 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 Uh, I like that. Rather than going with the timeline, you know. I did you nothing. Right. You did nothing. <laughs> so okay. So <laughs> Stefan's <laughs> way of dealing with his underclassmen is just ignore them. <laughs> no, I didn't ignore them. You did nothing. Wait. Did I, <laughs> I didn't ignore them. I I, I pushed it off <laughs> until I forgot. <laughs> is that not like in a way of ignoring? No, but I acknowledged it. Okay. You yeah. just didn't do it. <laughs> you just didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm pretty sure I had one on ones here and there mm. with a few of the underclassmen. Uh, took them out to eat. Oh, no. And I think that's about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to them during like epic meetings, like make sure they're comfortable. Oh. And that's it. I, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Everything just came back to you. No, sorry. I thought you meant like what we did for the upper class or underclassmen when we left. No, we couldn't like, do anything because we left. Yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Right, no. <laughs> not even like. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. No. Not after. We're talking about like during college. Oh, okay. Well, no, we were still in college. Yeah. It could be. It could be during Zoom <laughs> University or like it could be pretty cold. Oh, during Zoom, I didn't know. This. Zoom University. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but uh, yes. While we were in college and we were upperclassmen, for the underclassmen, all I did. Was just like talk to them, hang out, mm-hmm. you know, make sure they were comfortable with others. Mm-hmm. Seemed like they integrated pretty well for the ones who actually stuck yeah. around. But everyone else, I don't know. I, I didn't put too much effort though. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. Did anything come back to you? Oh yeah, yeah. So um, I was discipled when I was an underclassman, so I wanted to do the same. So I tried my best. I'm not sure how it worked out, <laughs> but I did my best. So that's something I did. And I think like men, I just like help them get comfortable with mm-hmm. the group. You know, I think I know what it's like to sort of not know. And it sucks when like there's a group that already knows each other. Yeah. And when no one's trying to help them integrate, it's, it sucks and it's hard. And yeah. I know what mm-hmm. that feels like. So I try yeah. my mm-hmm. best to do that. True. 
And yeah, I think that's that's like pretty much what I did. I didn't really buy people food. No. I mostly just hang out. Mm. Yeah. You took our food. Uh, I took their food. So. Oh yeah, I did try to hit on a few underclassmen, so it's fine. Same. Same. <laughs> same. 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 Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We know. Yeah. We Actually, wait, I hit more on a, I hit on the upper class more than the upper class. Oh yeah, we know that too. Yeah. I'm more of the underclassmen, I think, at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick. For sure, for sure. Can't wait to hear your answer. <laughs> Uh, mine is similar too, like uh, one of ones. Oh, um, I did that too. Sorry. Yeah, I'm at a, whenever I'm at the tables, I'll like try to like talk, talk. You fucking fingers. sorry. All right, for right. whoever saw that on YouTube, <laughs> clip that. <laughs> or whoever didn't see on listening on Spotify, um, Stefan just got hit in the face with a tangent because Patrick started throwing. Ooh, don't like Big Ben. It's all good. <laughs> Dude, that was pinpoint accuracy. He just has butterfingers. Relax. It was pinpoint accuracy to his face. Yeah. Gotta blame the quarterback and but the wide receiver. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Were you aiming for the face? I was. Oh okay. really? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I was gonna acknowledge that I had butterfingers because <laughs> I did miss the grab. But oh. if you, oh, were aiming at my face, oh. you little. Bit. No. Oh no, I was aiming for your hand. Sorry. All right. Continue. Sorry. There you Before go. I was really in touch. Yes. Oh, really whenever I was on, whenever I was on at the tables, I would just try to talk to them, hang out with them. Mm-hmm. Tables are again, it's like a location we met up at when we were in campus. And you guys know where it is. We talk about it so often. But just get new listeners. Yeah. So yeah. Um I wonder if that's still there. It's still there. Oh, it's still there. Um, Yay. I don't know what else. Now I'm still I still catch up with some of the other classmen. Um they're juniors now, so <laughs> Damn we're old. No. They were freshmen when we were juniors. Damn we're old. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talk- oh, wait, the no, current no, no, juniors. No, no, no. Um, yeah, I still catch up with them here and there, see how they're doing, see what's going on in Epic, uh, stuff like that. Nice. What about you, Patrick? Oh, me? Yeah. Is well, it a one word answer? I was never present, so I didn't <laughs> no, even know we had underclassmen. <laughs> no, you were there. It's just. It was you weren't too around. <laughs> yeah, well, I was rarely there. Fucking punk but bitch. when I was there, what did I do? do you guys Nothing. <laughs> the fuck? You, you're supposed think, to know I that. You just hanged out. I just, I just hung out hung when out. I was there. Yeah. You yeah. talked to some of them yeah. during the meetings, maybe because you were MCU. I feel like one of them was a lot more closer to you, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we know. Yes. <laughs> I try to make, well, like you guys try to make them feel welcome. Uh-huh. But sometimes, you know, it works out too well. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. You suck at that, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. What is he saying? We'll I'm answer that to later, <laughs> bro. Trying to but out yes. Who it was. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about oh. oh. No, you know, you know who it is. No. I, I think I know who it is. I just want yeah. to confirm. Yeah. You know who okay. it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. the end of the podcast. That's all we want to <laughs> ask. <laughs> okay. Subscribe, friends. <laughs> okay, no, uh, but show the same level of respect that you want to be treated to the other classmates. Make sure, to, you know, don't exclude them from events. You know, mm. Reach oh, out yeah. to them. You know, even if you don't feel like reaching out to them, just say, what's up? You know, you don't have to start a deep conversation. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. I, I got really bad at doing that. Yeah. Like, I think our senior year, we were just lazy. Yeah. But I, I think I've gotten really bad too at like keeping up with people. Mm. Yeah. And, but to a degree, I don't know if it's a selfish or not, I don't feel bad <laughs> because, right? Me neither. I feel like in, like in our time in life, like, yeah, it's important and all, uh-huh. but, you know, it's like we got to work on ourselves, you know, like uh-huh. our lives don't ride on them. Uh, it, it's our understandable life. to a point where, like, where we are right now in our life, it's just like we have our full time job. We have sort of like things that we also need to do as well. Yeah. So. Um, and it's not like it's as convenient as it was before when we were still in college where we could see them every, like, on a regular basis but now we have to like deliberately go out of our way to um make plans or, like do all these kind of things so it's a little bit more complicated than it was in college and we don't give a fuck <laughs> sure <laughs> we sort of care to a point to the degree where i'll reach out mm-hmm. but but it's just yeah. like how much more how much time do we really have to yeah. spare or, like, 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 so yeah well yeah man just reach out communication is key in any relationship yeah mm-hmm. <sighs> but Facts, no printer. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about our time as a underclassman. Man, we were really zooming, dude. Well, hey, actually, that's not much. There's another thing when we were upperclassmen. It's like, what? so the, the person who asked me this question wants to know what we did 
when our underclassmen got on our nerves. Because they want to know what are some possible things they can do when they're on their class. Confront those they're... little fucks. Beat their ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but confrontation. Con- do it. <laughs> don't, don't fucking receive all that disrespect. Because you're going to be look li- looking like a punk bitch. Okay? Mm. Stand your ground. Say what you want to say. If that person's being a bitch, let them know he's being a bitch. You know? Don't, don't handle that disrespect. Whoa. Okay, don't do what Stefan's doing. Someone's right venting now. a little bit. Don't okay. don't don't be like Stefan and beat them with a bottle. Beat them with, beat oh, them with Stephen. your words. Stefan, like commit a felony right now. Stefan, get okay. the Glock. <laughs> okay. 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 No, but uh, yeah, like I said, communication is key, and that's part of it. So talk to them. Definitely important. You know? Talk to them. If they can't understand it in the end, then you know what? You tried your best. Yeah. Not. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You tried. You tried. You know, and that person's being an asshole. Let him be an asshole. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I mean. We're all, uh, you guys are all in college. You're all adults. reasonable adults. Yeah. Um, so it's time to be treated as one. If they are doing stupid stuff, talk to them. Yeah, don't be punked out. You know? Because yeah. yeah. at, the, at the end of the day, if you continue to hold it in, it's just going to hurt. It's going to hurt you more than it is possibly hurting them. And eventually, uh, you're going to have to find ways to like not see them, avoid them. Uh, it could be the point where it's like you don't go to your organization, Epic or whatever yeah. um, anymore. It'll yes. just be awkward. Patrick. I have a question. Yeah. So you know how we're talking about how what we did uh. when underclassmen got on their nerves, right? Yeah. And all the stuff that we just talked about, like communication and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. Did you guys do that when you were upperclassmen? No. The upperclassmen? Yes. I know he didn't. Um, did you guys do? Oh, yeah. Wait, I didn't have beef or anything. <clears throat> he did. That's cool. All right. Okay, well, let's talk about that after. <laughs> yeah, we can talk about that after. Yeah, yeah. But did you guys? I talked to because this guy was annoying me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like directly confronted. No, he was like right next to me. I talked to him. Mm. Uh, really? Yeah. You know who it is? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you. So you didn't, right? I did not. So did not. what was yours? What was your advice? Beat them off. <laughs> oh, beat them off. My legit advice? Yeah. yeah. Did, did you say a legit advice? advice or was it actually Oh, no, 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 no. My legit, stopped them down. My legit advice. I think it was a little bit, I, I was immature back then, so I did not handle it, right? Mm-hmm. But like right now, the way I think, like, and I, I like, if I had to give advice, like, I, I'd say go, go with men's advice, you know, like talk to them, confront them. And mm-hmm. if they're being like, whatever, then just like, yeah, just like forget them, right? But yeah. like, also to a degree, you know, like if they're if you don't think they're worth your time, then I don't think it's worth trying to hash things out. Yeah. Okay. So I guess it's like judgment too. Like if mm. you don't think it's worth, if you want to like resolve the issue, then yeah, mm. you should confront them. Mm. But if you don't think they're worth your time, or you don't think, you know, maintaining a friendship that you have to deal with this constantly of him being a dick and you gotta confront him, then I don't think you know. No. There's Value a certain, yourself. Man. Okay. There's a certain like wait to it if let's say you already talked to this person before um they still haven't changed then there's like a certain reality revaluation revaluation that needs to go into place yes what about you pat pat did you confront anyone before? what is the question you asked the question <laughs> did you confront anyone? did you confront anyone oh before? no no did you do any other things? i didn't really have any problems with that yeah because you weren't there because i was rarely <laughs> present so i didn't get to that point where what underclassmen did would annoy me, you know? Yeah. You just there, there. heard from I us. I heard from these What guys. annoys us. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then I saw it for myself and then, yeah. I took it to the point where it's like, even if someone annoyed him, uh, he, he wasn't, wasn't there, there enough to take any initiative. Yeah, exactly, yeah. If they annoy me one day, you know, I'll be gone for the rest of the month. So, so you know, That's yeah, he will never, he will yeah. see them like every once in a blue moon yeah. to the point where I was like, Sure, sure, you annoy me, but yeah. it doesn't really matter. Pump and then, like, bitch. the next month, I'm like, oh, and then everything's fine again, you know? So, yeah. Cool. Cool. Right. cool. Well, I guess we can talk about. Oh! Oh, Chushmega! Hey! Sorry, I was talking to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, we can talk about how our life as underclassmen now, right? Unless yeah. we have. Okay, yeah, underclassmen. What we did. Maybe something that might have annoyed upperclassmen. I was a punk. I don't think you were a punk. I think a lot of the upperclassmen actually liked you, though. If, yeah, I, if, I, if I look back, I thought I was a punk. You probably thought yourself was a punk, but you attracted a lot of the upperclassmen. I don't think it's a good way, though. Maybe that's like a... <laughs> I think it was like that... More of a funny a way. Annoying little brother. Kind of yeah. way. More of a funny way. 
I I think like out of us four, I think you three probably had like the most attention from the upperclassmen. I think it was Patrick. I think it was Patrick. What? That's Cap. You are always like, what are we, what are we, what's the word I'm using? Like the golden child of Alonso. No, they, they just saw you in a really good light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah they really, I think they saw Patrick in a really good light. I don't know about Harry. I don't know why what? they didn't see Harry in a good light. <laughs> why, do people didn't, why didn't people see Harry in a good light? No, I'm saying like compared think, to like Patrick. Uh, Patrick is always, it's not because, again, he wasn't there a lot. So there was so much mystery to him. I gotta um, do that more often, man. <laughs> And there's like people are always me. curious. Wait, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I disappear from that. Really? Never yeah. noticed that. Yeah, of course, because they're treating you so nicely. Like, That's my life, like. Like what we, we said. Know. Like what we said before. This <laughs> <laughs> my life. You know the Homer Simpson where he's in the bush and he's like, <laughs> like, there's a fight going on. Go <laughs> 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 your ghost. <laughs> I'd be Danny Phantom, bro. But for if any upperclassmen are watching, please tell us what you actually thought of us. So. Yeah. We, we might be wrong. For all we know, you guys might have thought Patrick was a punk. Yeah, I know. One yeah, person thought I was a punk. Uh, yeah, we all know that one person yeah, thought you were a punk. punk. Yeah. You guys, yeah, you knew him from punk. before. We'll be yeah. seeing him in a two and a half hours. Yeah. I know he thinks I was a punk. Harry's employer. <laughs> Harry's employer. But yeah. I would say, oh man, as an underclassman, man. I didn't do much. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't do You much. were the me back then. Huh? You were the me back then. As a freshman, it doesn't seem like you As were. a freshman? I was around? Like, with the upperclassmen, it doesn't seem like you did much. I don't think they want to even approach me. Uh, <laughs> weird. I don't know why. No, I don't know. I don't know why. Like, probably only one of them did, but that's because all four of us were. <laughs> like, everyone else wasn't really that approaching me. I don't know why people approached me. They approach you more, yeah, a lot more. I don't know why. I'm <laughs> guessing maybe because of a certain story. I think it's maybe that aura, and that story. <laughs> story aura. <laughs> should we should we tell that story? That I don't know if he said it already, but we might have. We might have story. Yeah. We don't have the name. Actually, no. We did tell it. I remember. Yeah, I remember. I think we, story, yeah. But let's let's rewind back oh, on that time. Wild. Yeah. Just, just the highlights. Highlights. Yeah, yeah. Stefan, tell us. Okay. Highlights. College. I wanted to be different. I wanted to be a new guy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Look how that's been. Go back to 2016. There's, there's this Korean thing. You see someone three times, like young, <laughs> like fate. Mm -hmm. I saw this girl four times. <laughs> well, you, she I, went above and beyond. I approached her. <laughs> said, you cute? She said, nah. I'm like, cool. She said, come to Epic. I went to apologize. And apparently, um, I was already famous. <laughs> <laughs> he was a legend as soon as he stepped in that room. <laughs> I think Legend, bro. Everybody knew me that point. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I guess that's why a lot of people also approached you. That's what I heard. I heard, like, I heard when people saw me, they're like, oh, that guy. He's that guy. <laughs> He's that guy. He's that guy who asked that guy. You were what? a legend, man. She's, she's married happily. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're happy for her. Happy for her and him. Yeah, he's a good yeah. guy. He's a great guy. Yeah, yeah he's a good we guy. Love him. He's one, of the, he's one of the upperclassmen who take care of us a lot, too. Yeah. We're happy for the both of them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But yes, how how was your underclassman here like life? He said he wasn't there for the first half, which I I, I, I wasn't there. Yeah, so yeah, like he wasn't that my much. first semester, um, I was like uh, pretty much everywhere. Um, I didn't even know the table existed for like the that is true. good a good portion of my first semester. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Well, honestly, looking back at now, I have so much respect for like the upperclassmen because now that I'm dealing with my underclassmen sometimes. I'm just like, jeez, I was a handful. I was <laughs> in my freshman year, sophomore year. Um, yeah, so my respect for the upperclassmen and what they had to go through just went up so much. <laughs> mm, true. You know, we made so much memories in that table. Oh, no. Dude, the table is so I think that's fun. why we really wanted to keep that table. Like, a lot. It's, yeah. because, it's because of what it meant to us. So, like, it, it hold like, a great significant value yeah. to us. So when we became juniors and seniors and when our uh, upperclassmen graduated, we tried so hard to keep that, keep that tradition, alive. you know? <sighs> but uh, these little punks, man. It's a legacy. So many things have changed, I heard. What? I think it was too far away. So, so many things have changed, though, I feel like, as we were becoming upperclassmen and then as we were leaving. Yeah. You know? I don't think we were as active. We weren't as active. I think it's because we were demotivated after the upperclassmen left. Yeah. I, I mean, that's how I was. I was like... Or not deal, maybe unmotivated, but like when I saw the upperclassmen leave, I was just like, man, 
I low key miss them. <laughs> you know? Right. And now these other customs are here. I'm like, now we have nerves. to. <laughs> and some of them did. <laughs> but man, I was just like, oh, man. <laughs> I still did a lot. Yeah. I still remember, like, as upperclassmen, they stayed on the tables, like, a long oh, yeah. Midnight. time. Midnight. Yeah. I, I, I think I stayed one time till, win- till midnight. Mm. And they were just, like, playing games, like, playing board games, card games. I was just like, fuck yeah, dude. Dude, yeah. they were active. I'm yeah. down with it. <laughs> they were active. You know? I tried to do that, but, like, it's just... Everybody goes home. Everyone goes home yeah. at, like, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and then no one's around. Yeah. No one decided to stick around once we became upperclassmen. It just mm-hmm. goes to show no one likes us. <laughs> all right so we're gonna go into a short therapy session on this podcast <laughs> five five minute recess <laughs> we, we know how you guys feel on the class it's okay you guys can hate us it's fine i hate you too <laughs> I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding i'm kidding y'all <laughs> no but i i think just talking about all this stuff it like makes me nostalgic a little bit because like last night i was with a few of the upper classmates too uh kyle chung i don't know if you guys know him and Matt Richards, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. one of them upperclassmen. One of them was there before we even came in. Oh, yeah. Uh, and one of them was there for a little bit. Uh, and they were talking about like their past stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow. That's it just goes to show it's one insane. generation after another. That's like ten, almost 10. I'm pretty sure that's like 10 years ago. Yeah. You know? It is. It's crazy, dude. That's crazy how life happens. You know, you grow old. <laughs> Indeed, we do. <laughs> we're not that old, though. We're not that old. Uh, you know, we're not even 30 yet. <laughs> I'm still in my youth. <laughs> Except for someone. <laughs> well, I'm not 30. What are you doing? Like, I'm not 30. Man, once, you, once you're 25, you're practically 30. It's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're past your past. I feel like I offended a bunch of the upperclassmen now when I said that. Are all the upperclassmen like 25 and above? Yeah. No, like 26. 26, 27. Oh, 26 this year. Oh, God. Oh, my. One, one of them is about to turn 30, actually. Ooh, can. Oh, yeah. Can's turn 30. Wow. Happy birthday, Can. Another Happy great, early, early birthday. Another great upperclassman. Yes. Took care of us. I love him. I feel like we really just see the upperclassmen in a good light. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we see them in any bad light whatsoever. Remember the Goon Platoon? Oh, oh yeah. The Goon Platoon. Remember the rankings we had? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. We, me and Patrick were like, <laughs> they were always going. We ranked they up. Were, Dude, were, we graduated. We graduated. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're still privates. You, you know, like, we, we, like, found out about the Goon Platoon, that the ranked stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, a week later, we graduated. And then we graduated. I was like, man. I remember one of the upperclassmen, he, he was like, bro, <laughs> you guys just got initiated. <laughs> Uh, I felt so happy that I was included in something, but then it felt bad that I was left out. Yeah. Again. <laughs> they, they kicked us out. Yeah, they kicked us out. I was like, damn it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're like, babe, we gotta break up. <laughs> like, babe, we gotta break up. He's like, why? <laughs> the goon platoon! <laughs> I, I, I just ranked up. I can't just, I can't I can be just a lead lieutenant. <laughs> I can be a lieutenant. Can you imagine? I can can you imagine? Help me. Is it, do you get sort of benefits? No. <laughs> like, I just want to be a part of it. <laughs> Can be a commander. <laughs> I miss those days, dude. Yeah, that's fun. Those days were like the, our carefree days. Do you remember we just always went out to eat too? Yeah, like, yeah. We spent so much. Money. We spent so. I was surprised. Did we get? Did any of you guys get freshman fifteen? I did. You, you I did. did. You did. Well, I did because like my I would be at Ike's, which is one of the dining halls, and like uh-huh. night uh-huh. I would be eating and like I would, I'll be eating like pizza, junk food, and like drinking sodas uh-huh. in the middle of the night. So like I did gain a good amount of like I think ten pounds. Oh, but then somehow managed to lose it two weeks into summer. Then your metabolism is crazy. My metabolism back there, back there is the crazy. What about you, Patrick? Did you gain fifteen pounds? No, he lost weight. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we see him in sophomore year. He's like sticks in. Like, bro, what happened? <laughs> No, I didn't. Yeah. I was more active back then, so. Oh. Actually, I didn't gain 15 pounds either. I think I just ate the same amount as I always did. Yeah. <laughs> That's all yeah, I did. I was so skinny back then. Oh, oh, yeah. I think people didn't realize how skinny I was. I didn't realize until I saw that thing. Same. Oh, me too. I didn't, I didn't realize. For those of you guys who don't follow me on Instagram, I posted a back, uh, like a transformation pic kind of thing. Like from 2019 to 2022. I Even I realized. I was like. Yeah. It's so like, God, obvious. Yeah. Like, even though you were wearing, like, layers, yeah. it's still so obvious to see how much you've changed. I was just like, like oh, damn. Feel what you got. Mm-hmm. If I could go back in time, I'd tell my freshman uh, year person, I'm like, yo, work out. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Now. Start it now. Start now. Start Regret through later. The, go through the pain now. Uh, <laughs> grind it now. Who knows? I'm, I might have been in the thousands club by now. <laughs> That's true, yeah. If you started back then. Yeah. yeah. But, oh, man. 
I think we were just a lot more active during our we underclassmen were, years. Yeah, we we were, wanted to do everything. Yo, we was active. We wanted to do a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. We, like, just, we, we would just like, we would skip class. We skip we class just to hang out, out at the tables. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like if we're at the tables and we'll have class and it's like, not the only thing. Yeah, we still like got every time memories. So for those underclassmen, when we say skip class, that's what we meant. Just like hang out with us at the tables. That's the reason. Don't like, don't skip class or like go home and take a nap or anything. Do something by skipping class. Do something productive with your time. If you're going to take a nap by skipping class, just go to class and take a nap. Or be social with us, man. We're trying to get to be close with you guys. Why go to class just to zone out when you can have fun? That's like the same thing as skipping. No, how we like, we used to go to the hub. Oh, so yeah, yeah, ping pong. Right, right. Or like toll. I was fresh like, Grab us to grab, like, play basketball and stuff. Yeah. Or we just, like, walk to McDonald's and a lot of guys. Dude, we will go to freaking U Mall and get McDonald's. Dude, whatever the upper classes wanted to do, we did with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and here, like, yep. When we were upperclassmen, our underclassmen failed us. Oh. <laughs> they, they failed. Especially <laughs> the. Especially <laughs> a couple. Failed. Failed. <laughs> there was a couple <laughs> people in the year under us that did do a lot of stuff with us. Because we, two of them, I went to, like, uh, you want McDonald's in the middle of the night when we bought a hundred chicken nuggets. Oh, no, we are. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I, remember, I remember. I remember. But there were some oh, people okay. who were not. Present. I think and, uh, it's just it, that was like half of that year. That was half the numbers from that year. Mm-hmm. I think when I look back, I don't want to say regret, but I wish I spent more time with some of the other people. Mm. Me too. Yeah. I, I wish. Me too. I. They're like one of my favorite people. Yeah, yeah. I wish they I ended up becoming good. my time. <laughs> better or yeah, me too mm-hmm. yeah. me too yeah. same here i wish i could have hung out more yeah, it's also people we don't talk to as often now we're just like but realizing like yeah, damn they're like a lot more, better you know? not know? better but you know, well, not better it's just like i would i would have rather out, spent yeah. more time on them than the other guys i spent time on yes you know yes. and efforts on no offense to the guys i did but like just saying bro like do better <laughs> I, I spend my time more with some of the other people yeah mm-hmm. yeah because now i feel yeah, I feel like I neglected them. So mm. I feel better about that too. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, make sure to reach out to your fellow underclassmen, you know? Mm-hmm. And underclassmen, you know, there's nothing wrong with reaching out to your upperclassmen either. Oh, uh, you know, again, fall, they'll be bro, touched. They'll be touched, you know? They'll be really touched. Yeah. You'd Will be they? surprised, man. <laughs> Will they? But don't, don't touch me. Reach out to Stefan. He's, 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 he, he needs um, He needs your attention. <laughs> he wants your attention. Stephen he craves your attention. Yeah, Stefan loves <laughs> attention. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, reach out to stuff. Oh, calling Ooh, out the name already. I'm, name no, I'm just, I'm just, I just, I just dropped a name. You dropping oh. names, you little girl. <laughs> Guys, reach out to Stefan. Hey, yo. Boys, what reach out to Stefan. Stefan wants what? to. What is she a freshman? Oh, no, not a freshman. Bro. Oh. You better be at least 20, bro. <laughs> Boys, reach out to Stefan. <laughs> but, but my advice overall, have fun in college. Oh, you nice. won't get that time again, ever. Yes. And like, Even, sorry, go, 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 go. Okay. Even though there was like a pandemic and everything, but there's plenty of ways for you to make your time worth it. Yeah, if you are time. complaining that you had a terrible time, oh, okay, fine. The pandemic was terrible. But if you say like in the afterwards and you couldn't really have a good time in college, you reflect, you reflect on yourself. See how much you try. Because yeah. if some of you, because I, I know some of you guys go out anyways. Yeah, I know. I know some of you really didn't try that much. Even when I was, when we were in college, like when there was no no such thing as COVID nineteen, you didn't try that much. And guys, guys, tips also: quantity does not mean anything. Quality means a lot more. For all, for you guys who care more about the numbers of people in your group, it does not matter. It doesn't. You don't have to go out with like. 10, Gosh. 15 people. Sometimes if you just grab two of your best friends or two people that you're comfortable with. Some of you guys think numbers, some of you guys think numbers matter. It doesn't matter. No one cares. The more you go through college, the more you go through life, the more you realize the less people that you, it's just those so few real, real ones that you want to stick around. You don't need like 50 people. That's kind of what I wish I told myself back then. Like numbers don't matter. Quality matters. Look at the four of us. Oh, see, we're still oh, yeah. hanging out. Yeah. After five years. Exactly. Almost six. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. You no, know, they're gonna. You know, they're gonna be at my wedding and everything. Like shit. Oh, they might ride or die. Yes, so sir. It's gonna be me and Stefan's wedding, so he's gonna be there anyways. That's <laughs> 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 why I had to Bad. break all the serious talks. <laughs> I just see Stefan go like, uh, <laughs> Yo, that's facts though. Yeah, for real though. I hope you guys are happy. Yeah. I hope you guys are happy. All he over quantity. There's a reason why. For sure. 
Quantity over quality. See my Stefan wanted to say something. <laughs> okay, I forgot. Okay. Did I, did I just blindside you with that wedding proposal? No, I was trying to remember as you guys were talking. I was like, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Yes. Uh, what quantity. Are we, at? we are only on half an hour while we talk. No, that's fine. No, that's good. Yeah, that's good. good. All right. Well, if any of the... One more thing. Wait, last, last, minute, minute, last minute. Last minute thoughts? Three more things. Uh, any last minute thoughts? Uh, I'm good. Just, just have fun, you know? Yeah. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Yeah. Now, don't be afraid to do like what you want to do. Mm. Like if you are studying computer science because it makes money, but you're not satisfied and you really want to do another thing, bi- bi- biology, yeah. and you want and you are passionate, just do it, bro. Like yeah. there are, this world is um, a world where like you can do things without a degree. It's full of opportunities. Yeah, you don't need a degree anymore yeah. to get far in life mm-hmm. and so like just you know i mean having a degree is nice yeah you know it, it's like solid base but it's not going to get you where you want especially if you don't put the effort and if you're not yeah. passionate and you don't put then no. just don't make, be afraid to do what you want you know, make time for the things that you really enjoy because those are the things that will go a long way for you yeah. like both physically and mentally also look at some of us changing careers now yeah some yeah. of us are unsatisfied with our lives yeah some of us are thinking about changing or actually in the process of changing. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, mm-hmm. re- think real hard. You guys have the time. Mm-hmm. You know, don't worry about the finances and all that. That'll work itself it out. out bro. It all well, works itself provides. in the end. Drive okay. So, you know, just have fun. Enjoy what Enjoy, you're doing yeah. now. College because as an adult, really, you're not going to have as much yeah, fun you anymore. You really only get to experience college once in your life. You guys are just hearing our regrets. Okay. If Honestly. We are ranting for the last if, probably five minutes on our regrets. D- no, don't do this. If, if there's ever something that's in the back of your mind that you really want to do but never did, just like, try think it. about think about how you would feel if you didn't do that thing like five, ten years from now. If yeah. you feel like you're regretting it, just go ahead just and do it, it, bro. Just do it. You guys have the time. You guys are young. Have the time. You guys are students now. You guys aren't committed to anything. You like someone? Ask them out. Mm, Ask them out. Yeah, that's fine, man. Out. College is the perfect time, actually. Dude, when men said in 2016, go for it. And, and like <laughs> these three didn't. <laughs> these three We're regretting it. Except for Patrick. Patrick's the only no, one who I did, did it. it. Patrick. Yeah. Patrick's the only one who did it. These half the group didn't do it. <laughs> Gosh, but I yes, did it. It just didn't work out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you did. Yeah. I don't know if you follow my advice though. I don't know what you said, but <laughs> <laughs> all I said was go for it. <laughs> three simple words. Yeah, simple words. <laughs> Anyways, but yes. but yes. Don't have any regrets, guys. Yeah, but uh, if that's it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just, don't, a sh- just don't waste your youth. Don't waste your don't youth. Waste your youth. That's yeah. all I gotta say. <laughs> just enjoy what you have sure. right now. But yeah, that's our <laughs> low key kind of advice. Sorry for the little rant there because we just have a lot of regrets going on. <laughs> no, you're not. Your keep going. Are still there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Well, so Stefan's out of the out. podcast now. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and listening. You know, leave your comments. You know, f- subscribe. Leave your thoughts. Yeah, yeah, if you guys if, have any more questions on how like we lived as college students or anything, or if you want us to get into more specifics, let us know. If you are our upperclassmen, leave a leave a comment on what you thought about us when we were your upperclassmen. <laughs> comment like, uh. <laughs> uh, but still, make sure the comments help with the algorithm yeah. at the same time, and, and then leave a comment. And said. the underclassmen, if you feel some type of way about what we said, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. Man, come fight me, man. <laughs> Shit, what are you guys going to do? Damn. I graduated. Oh. I graduated. Y'all still in school. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. But, but for, the, for the guys who are you're younger than me, uh, you guys have jobs. It's fine. <laughs> you guys do whatever. You guys like busy, too. So. True, true, true. Yeah. But, yep. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.